Hey guys, welcome back to Grilling with Griba. We just got back from Northern Saskatchewan for a little Canada Day fishing expedition. We did really well, we brought back some nice walleye and I'm gonna show you a really cool batter that you can use on walleye. You can also use it on other things like breaded cutlets. This is an extra crispy batter that can be applied to a couple different dishes. So follow along and I'm gonna go through step by step on how I do this and how you can do this at home. First things first, the walleye I personally think is too big to fry. So what I like to do is I like to cut into chunks so it's easier maneuvered and flipped in the pan. And luckily, I did an awesome job deboning this, so there shouldn't be any bones. And we got our chunks. So we have our walleye filet. We also have our walleye cheeks. Yes, sir. And our walleye throat. My personal favorite part. So anyway, we are going to make our egg and milk wash. So I have already put one egg and some milk in my wash. I also like to throw in a tablespoon or dollop of sour cream as well. There might be a few chunks, but it's home gourmet, not restaurant gourmet. And a little bit of cornstarch. And this is gonna thicken it up. So we mix that all together and you're gonna have a little bit thicker and a little bit more of a tangy wash for the fish before you batter. So we're gonna use this and that's going to be our wash. A little bit of sour cream in there, little chunks, don't worry about that, not a big deal. I'm gonna set that off to the side. So we're gonna come back to that in a second or so. The batter itself, um, very simple, but yet there's a few ingredients in here that you may have never used before or may not even know about. I didn't know about them until recently because luckily my dad's a really good cook and he likes to tell me how I'm doing things wrong. And once in a while I pick up a tip or two. So first things first, I am going to take four parts panko breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm gonna put those into the food processor. Okay, really cool one. Two parts Idahoan potato flakes. Really, really good in this batter. All right, one part ground corn flakes. Don't put in real corn flakes, it won't turn out very well. Half a cup of cornstarch. This is one of the key ingredients. So we're gonna throw that in there. And when you're doing this at home, there is a really good chance that this is gonna be too much batter for you to use all in one sitting, unless you're feeding an absolute crew and you guys limit it out on walleye and pike and you have to feed a lot. So if you're not gonna use it all, don't season it right now. But for the sake of the show, I'm gonna season it now to show you how to do it. I'm just gonna use simple lemon pepper. I love lemon pepper. You can do Cajun, you can, you can get as creative as you want. But for me, today it's gonna be lemon pepper. So I'm gonna throw lemon pepper in there. Again, lemon pepper is salty, so you don't wanna over salty. You can always add salt after, you can't take it away. So don't put too many spices in your batter. Once that is all done, I am going to turn on this food processor and I'm gonna grind it all up together. Okay, good stuff. Oh, let's get this off, all right. Cool part about this batter is you're not using flour, so it's not gonna go soggy on you later in the night and it's not gonna go nearly as soggy the next day. And like I said, you can use this on pork cutlets, fish, whatever you're looking to batter something in, this is a great one to use. So we are going to use that. Here is our three steps. So first things first, what you wanna do is really take out all the moisture out of this fish. This is gonna make sure that batter sticks on and doesn't fall off. So we're gonna take all the moisture out, or as much as you can with paper towel. Lightly coat it in cornstarch first, not flour, cornstarch. Then we have our egg wash mix. It's good there, nice and sticky. And then we're gonna go into our coating. We're gonna coat this on all sides. 
And right there, you have a beautiful piece of walleye. It's gonna be crispy, flavorful, delicious. I don't know, put another adjective in there, I don't care. But this is gonna be awesome.